Today, 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 we are going to go through how exactly I do my process in making 8D audio. So hope you guys are ready for this. Let's get started. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Ozzy Rath, but also known as 8D Geats. If you don't know who I am, I have another channel called 8D Geats where I do a lot of Bollywood songs and I make them in like the audio. I have over 300,000 subscribers, also over 75 million views. So guys, you know, I am gonna give away a secret. <laughs> well, when I say secret, I mean like, you know, um, I mean like, uh, I'm gonna give you like um, a, a base secret. Um, I will show you how to do adjustments and everything, but the rest, obviously you will have to do yourself um, because I don't wanna give you like, you know, uh, whatever I know away, um, if you know what I mean. Um, so I will be giving you something to get you started, but I will show you how to do adjustments so you can really make those songs pop and make them sound really, really good. So hope you're looking forward to this. So let's get started. Part one. Hi guys, welcome to part one. On here we're going to learn how we're going to get the rotating effect. So this is going to be part one. And um, today we're going to be using Epidemic Sounds Music. Um, it's a very, very good service. If you are a YouTuber or you're looking to be a YouTuber, they are giving away one month for free. And their library is full of very, very amazing songs which will make up production quality and sound absolutely fantastic. And um, I will leave a link in the description below. So make sure you go and check them out if you're looking for some really good music. So moving on, what we're going to do, we're going to add the song from Epidemic Sounds right into this. And now we're going to grab this file and we're going to bring it into the editor. Now you see this, so don't be too alarmed because I'm going to obviously walk through this with you guys. So now we're going to go into effects. We're going to go on to special. And on here, you can see this Doppler shifter process. Click on there. Now, here's the thing with this, right? That I've noticed because honestly, I've done so many songs. Um, and this by far is the formula that I think will be great. However, everybody's different. You can play around with this if you want to. So here you will see it says sound will go full circle every eight seconds. Now this song is a bit slow. So eight seconds is perfect for me. Now, if you are going to be doing a fast song, like, you know, dance music and that, that, you can obviously change it to five seconds. I think five seconds is perfect for that. So if you look at this one here now, and you look at this radius, if I move that around, you'll see the seconds are going up and down. So if it's a fast song, leave it to about say five seconds. If it's a slow song, leave it to about eight seconds. I believe that's absolutely for perfect. Velocity, we're not going to change that. Leave that 45. Starting angle, we're going to leave at 200, which is about here. So it goes rotating this way and and obviously the center in front by is going to be zero and center on right by is zero as well. Now this section here, make sure that direction is checked. Leave distance alone. Do not touch that. Quality, we want perfect. So that's going to be the slowest because it's going to rotate nice and slowly. Now we're going to apply it. So once that's been applied, we're going to click play and listen to this now. And pay attention here because this bit is very, very important. You should be listening to a shift in the music, rotating round and round. So this is the end of part one and I will see you in part two. Part two. Okay guys, welcome back to part two. As you know in part one, we learn how to get that really nice rotating effect. And this part, we're going to learn how to get that really nice reverb sound effect. So let's get started with that now. Okay, so first of all, you need to go into effects here. Once you go into effects, you'll see this where it says reverb and on here you're going to see studio reverb. So let's click that. Here you're going to see these presets. We're going to go to Ambience 1. Okay, now you see all these settings. Don't be too afraid because I'm going to walk you through this now. Now, the settings that I've done, and believe me, I have done this numerous times. I've spent hours and hours on this. Um, is the reason why I get a consistent sound on all my music, um, which you have listened to on my 8D Geeks channel. So what we're going to do ahead now is we're going to obviously enter these in manually, which I believe is fine, but everybody's different. You can do this to your own liking. So first of all, I'm going to go into Decay, and now I'm going to type in here, 
2002. And on the early reflections, I'm going to go ahead and put down 51%. And on the width, that is basically the size of the room. So I'm going to do this to 80.3, which I think is about perfect for me. High frequency, we're going to leave alone. Low frequency, we're going to leave alone. Damping, we are going to change this to 30.6. And the diffusion, we're going to change this one to, let's say, 20.2. Okay, and now let's play this. Okay, so obviously you can hear there is a little bit of difference. Now this is the total game changer. So on this output level, we have dry and wet. On the dry, we're gonna change this one to 60.6. And on the wet, I'm going to change this one to 51.2. Now let's listen to it. So I believe you told the difference there. So this is the end of part two and part three is going to be the ultimate game changer. So I will see you there. Part three. Okay guys, so we've learned part one, we've learned part two, this is part three. And this is where we are going to make some major adjustments, but very little adjustments, but they are very major adjustments. I'll tell you what I mean. So let's just quickly listen to the song again. Now you probably won't notice this, but I can notice this. The bass and the vocals are a bit of low side because it's been applied on everything. So what do we need to change that? Okay, first of all, here you'll see what we call effects rack. It's right here. So on this, we have numbers of effects that you can put down. So on the first one, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go on there. And on here, what we need to do is we need to go onto which says this one where it's filter and EQ. And on this one, we're gonna go on the first one, which is 10 bands. Click on there. And on here, we are going to go on to vocal presence boost. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna enhance the vocal. So if you cross that, this effect has been applied. So let's play, click play. Turn this off. So obviously you can notice the vocals have been enhanced ever so slightly, which is very important in this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to increase the bass a little bit because the bass has been affected. So what do we need to do for that? Again, same thing, go into filter EQ, go onto graphic equalizer, 10 bands, and on here, it's going to be the simple bass lift. So what it's going to do is it's going to lift that bass up a little bit. Now you can adjust these to your liking, but Honestly, you don't need to do it, it's fine. I'm going to cross this and now let's play it. basically it guys that is it so on the first part we've learned how we're going to rotate the sound we've done that already this part two we've learned how to get that really nice reverb but we've done that now as well and we've also done this part three where we have learned how to just ever so slightly raise those vocals and get that really nice bass as well so that's it guys that's all you need is good quality audio and um and just need to know how to play around with the adjustments and honestly, that's all they really need to make a really nice 8D tune. So that's it from me. And um, yeah, see you guys soon. And that is it. And that's exactly how you make 8D audio. It's so, so easy. 
Um, I mean, for the settings I have used in this, uh, I believe these are the best for fast and slow songs. However, every song is different, so you can adjust them to your own liking and take from there. So the song that we used in this one was from Epidemic Sounds, and I will be playing this at the end of this video for you guys to have a look and see. Okay, so that's it from me today. My name is Ozzy Rachiwood. Till next time, I shall see you guys later. And uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Bye now.